Ever been excited about your new podcast or video recording only to find out that the audio is filled with background noise like this? Don't worry, because in this video, I'll show you exactly how to remove that noise and turn your audio into something crystal clear like this. Whether you are working with free tools like Audacity or an advanced software like Adobe Audition or AI-based solutions, I've got you covered. Let's dive right in. Welcome back to the channel, I'm Joseph and today in this video, we are going to explore three simple but yet powerful ways to remove background noise from our audio. Whether you are a content creator, a podcaster, or just trying to clean up a recording, this tutorial would help you get professional sounding audio. We'll be using Audacity, Adobe Audition, and an AI base too, so there's something for everyone, no matter your skill level or budget. Let's get started. First up, we are going to use Audacity, one of the best free audio editors out there. It's simple, it's effective, and it works on pretty much any platform. First, import your audio file by going to File, Import, or simply drag and drop it into Audacity. AI image generators have come a long way, but which one really creates the most stunning and realistic image? Once the file is loaded, find a section of your clip that contains only noise. Highlight that section. Next, go to Effects, Noise Reduction, and click Get Noise Profile. This step teaches Audacity what your background noise sounds like. Now, select the entire track or a portion where you want the noise to be reduced. Go back to Effects, then Noise Reduction. Here, you can adjust the settings. The noise reduction in decibels controls how much noise is removed. AI image generators have come a long way, and which one really creates the most stunning and realistic images? Sensitivity controls how much of the audio Audacity treats as noise, and frequency smoothing helps smooth out any harsh edges. Once you've adjusted the settings to your liking, hit OK, and Audacity will reduce the noise from the selected portion of your audio. AI image generators have come a long way, and which one really creates the most stunning and realistic images? As you can hear, the background noise has been significantly reduced. You can tweak the settings further if you want, but for most cases, this gets the job done perfectly. Now let's move on to Adobe Audition, a more advanced tool for professionals. Once your audio file is imported, the first step is to highlight the section with just the noise, like we did in Audacity. Then go to Effects, Noise Reduction, and Capture Noise Print. This captures the noise profile we want to remove. After that, Select the entire track where the noise appears, or the specific section you want to clean up. Head to Effects, Noise Reduction, Track Restoration, Noise Reduction Process. You will see a visual representation of your sound profile here. You can adjust the Noise Reduction slider to control how much noise you want to remove, and the Reduction slider to fine tune how aggressive the noise removal should be. Review the changes by hitting Play and listen to how the audio improves. When you are happy with the results, hit Apply. Your audio is now cleaned up and you will notice the background noise is greatly reduced while keeping the clarity of your main sound. AI image generators have come a long way, but which one really creates the most stunning and realistic images? If you want a quicker solution in Adobe Audition, you can use the denoise effect. Simply select your audio and go to Effects, Noise Reduction, Stroke Restoration, Denoise. This effect automatically detects and reduces the background noise. You can adjust the reduction slider to control how much noise is being removed. Review the results and adjust the settings until you find the perfect balance between noise reduction and audio clarity. Videogram, Leonardo's Phoenix, New Journey, Hyper, Messiah. I enter right, GPT to the test. The challenge is to generate an ultra realistic selfie of a young woman in her mid 20s. Who do you think would come out on top? Well, let's find out. Once you're satisfied, hit apply and your audio would sound much cleaner. AI image generators have come a long way, and which one really creates the most stunning and realistic images? For those who want an even quicker solution, AI based tools like Crisp and Ophonic are great options. Let's start with Crisp, which removes background noise in real time. Once installed, simply select Crisp as your input device in your recording software. Crisp will automatically filter out any unwanted noise while you record or during calls. If you prefer post processing, then Ophonic is another great AI tool. Upload your file into Alphonic and it will automatically remove background noise, adjust volume levels, and optimize your audio. Once it's done, you can download the clean audio and hear the difference right away. So let's quickly compare all three methods. Audacity gives you free and solid control over noise reduction. Adobe Audition offers professional level editing with more in-depth options. 
and layer based tools like crisp and orphanic are for quick and no fast solutions personally i recommend audition if you need professional quality audio or work in post-production but if you're just starting out, Audacity is an amazing free option. And of course, AI tools are great if you want to save time. Before you go, here are a few quick tips to reduce noise while recording so you don't have to clean it up later. You can use a pop filter to minimize plosives and unwanted sounds. You can also record in a quiet room or simply use a soundproofing technique like blanket or foam. You can get a good condenser microphone that naturally reduces the background noise. The cleaner your recording is from the start, the less time you'll have to spend cleaning it up in post. I'd love to hear what tools you guys are using to clean up your audio. Drop a comment below and let me know if you've tried any of this method or if there's another tool I should check out. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.